2 a.m., my parents and brother are sleeping. I'm looking out the window and I see dark sky with no stars, just moon. Then I'm looking down on my desk and I see wet Georgian literature book. Wait, why is my book wet? I touch my face and my hands become wet too. What's the problem? Standing up, going to the mirror, and seeing human defining the word times. Yeah, actually, there was my reflection in the mirror. Big dark circles, red puffy eyes, big nose, messy hair, bad posture. How did I come to this? Let's just discuss. I'm a successful 10th grader, so more who only gets highest grades in the class. Maybe I'm flexing like, OMG, I'm so cool, I'm so smart, I'm so talented, and I'm so gifted from God. Do you see my strands of gray hair? Yeah, I guess that's the present which I was gifted to from my learning schedules. Actually, I'm not only like this. Sadly, a lot of people who want to succeed in their lives go through the stress related to learning. I don't want to talk a lot, so you guys can get bored, so I'll talk briefly about how I defeated stress and became the best version of myself. So, let's start with something simple. Feelings of, feelings of stress are common when I'm learning, from struggling to get my head around a certain concept or theory, which I have typically in physics, which I don't really need for my future profession, to worrying about three upcoming exams, three practical tests, which will be on the same day, or deadlines for projects which I should have done throughout three months, but I did them in one night. Yeah, how I've said, just as in all aspects of life when it comes to learning, general anxiety and stress is just normal for me during periods of intense study. According to 2016 research carried out by Stockholm University, stress can directly affect our ability to create short-term memories, meaning it is more difficult to retain information and keep it close at hand. I was sick. I was really sick and tired of my daily routine. I was coming from school at like 4 p.m., then scrolling through social media to like 9 p.m. Then I would start to do my homework. Then for sure I couldn't do it fully, so I'd go to sleep at like 2 a.m., then wake up next morning at 7 a.m. to finish this homework. Yeah, how you guess, in this five hours of sleeping, I saw a lot of nightmares related to school and learning. I couldn't take it anymore, so I tried to find solutions for this problem and maybe change something in my daily routine. And actually, I found the key. So, um, how to manage stress begins with something simple. For example, being organized. A can't lose stress management technique for me is to get organized and stay organized. For example, keep my desk in it, create folders on my computer, set reminders for reported dates. Yeah, once I get organized, I felt my stress levels go down immediately. Second is get enough sleep. So how to manage stress um, begins with, how I said, begins with something simple. Get enough sleep. A good night's sleep is critical for keeping my stress levels manageable. I remember when I was in ninth grade, I was taking extracurricular activities and lessons every day. And yeah, I didn't really sleep well during that grade and this cost me a lot. But now I have somewhat good sleep schedule and I work much better than one year ago. Third is eating well. Another simple stress management tip that I used was eating well. I know while it's tempting to treat myself to high fat, sugary comfort foods, this food actually decreased my energy and my academic performance as well. So, I tried to change my diet and restrict a little bit. Yeah, I tried to eat healthier food, for example, fruits, vegetables, protein, and yeah, I lost some extra kilograms and my skin got somewhat cleared. Fourth, and the last one is don't worry. I have a friend who is a successful student like me, and before lessons started, I was always asking her if she was anxious or worried about the difficult paragraph that her history teacher gave us. And the response was shocking. She always said that no, and therefore she never got a bad grade. And I realized that you should be confident in your studies, and then everything will be much easier. And also, and, every, yeah, and everything will be much easier. So in conclusion, I want to say to people who, who struggle a lot like me, nothing is impossible. 
When my mom was telling me I was disorganized and lazy, I didn't believe her and said that she couldn't understand me. But she was right. The stress comes from when you're organized and your body is in hell of tiredness, stress, and confusion. So I think that if you change something in your day routine, then your body and your GPA will thank you.